just have to do my Martin. I don't think I'm hungry enough to make supper. And I'm going to have probies tonight with onions, mushrooms, garlic, sausage, and I do have uh, sour cream. There we go. Now we just gotta board that. We can have supper. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty one. Pretty sweet, eh? And we still have hopefully uh, I could salvage the other one. We have three more to go on here. And then maybe tomorrow another one. That's a nice evening. It's 11 o'clock and it's time to hit the sack. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Fire's breaking out the BTUs now. Can't make out Otter Creek. You can just see the bush line. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And whiskey jacks are all over the place. I didn't feed them today. I have to get all the scraps out of here. There's some pork chops and things like that. I'm going to cut that all up for them. I'm going to get that ready for a feast. I'm going to go out there and get the boggins ready for hauling wood. I don't know if I'm going to go this afternoon. I was going through my watch. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, it's already, probably already too late to go get wood. It's been a busy day so far, but I need to get out there and do a few things. I think I made a decision that site number one is going to become our new oak camp site. I was looking at the at the kilometers and where we are when we get to site one and that's 23 miles away or 35.5 kilometers and I don't think I want to be much further than that and after that anyway is just uh, you know that big burn area which I have no sites on there whatsoever and I don't want to put it on those lakes because it's all just bog you can tell it's all just bog around there but site number one is might be gravel because you got the boulders there and if you go around the corner of that one bush line there's boulders all along there so I'm wondering if that's a gravel ridge if it is boom <laughs> that's the site there's no use playing around anywhere else because you're not going to find a better site than that. Somebody wanted to see my tire drag and since I have it out, pretty simple to make. I just grabbed five tires, roughly the same size, and they're all bolted together. You can see a bolt here, big washers on the inside. So with the tires right here, a big washer on each side, half inch bolts, and of course I did the chain, use the chain on this side as a washer and that goes to the machine just hook it to any way you want to your snowmobile and pull away works great even if this was drifted it just pulls it all away and then if I feel like uh, like maybe it's getting too high in the middle here I can actually flip it over and use the scraper scrape it down a bit and keep it uh, level around here that works really good I'm going to build also build another one also for uh, the oak camp. I don't think it's going to be this big though. But I want one around there to keep everything nice and uh, firm. It's great. It sure beats walking in the soft snow. It's a lot worse out here than I thought. Okay, let's go drop this off in the tundra. Good enough.
Holy crap. Glad I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> wow. Winds are supposed to die down tonight. It's late in the morning, I think. Right now I'm leaving it off because I don't know if I want to go get some wood in the morning or not. Straighten it out. It doesn't look like a little kid did it. <laughs> and bend it down a bit. There. Now we get to try out our little table. Knives. Sharpener. I might try this knife today. Let's see. Look at that. That's better. And when I'm pinning, I can also have room for the pins. Good color on this guy. Awesome. Oh, nice color. Look at that. Dark in there. Dark tail. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Get the brush. Double check everything. I figured out the generator problem. There's a lot of noise. Just don't put the Briggs and Stratton up there. <laughs> That's a lot noisier than the Champion. I could 
barely hear it. The generator was low on oil when it ran out last night. So this morning, and I topped her off. Didn't even make a coffee yet. I had the other lights on, but I'm going to throw the generator in. Might as well. Plus, uh, it's a little cool out there. I want to plug my machine, is, machine in. That's the real reason. Minus 34 out there. Not bad. There. It will dry like that. Just to make sure that the legs get air in here. And a lot of times you could just go like that. It doesn't lean against the wall and bend the nose up. We'll put it in the back just like this. So it works well. And now that'll sit there probably till tomorrow sometime. We'll take it off and we'll double check it. It should be fine. And then I hang it up there for uh, for a few more hours, even half a day, and then I throw it outside. I'm gonna go get some wood. I'm gonna start filling that shed up again. I have wood in there, but you know what? Can't keep taking without putting back. Doesn't work that way. That's enough. It's chilly out here. It felt warmer this morning. Well, it still is morning. Whew. Hour and a half to get here and get two loads of wood. Cutting all the ones that are on the ground, trying to clean up the site. If I drive right in there, I'll probably knock off 20 minutes. have my goggles in the back. Let's go to 
place where it's warm. Screw the tank frame today. <laughs> Going up mass. Not nothing. Not wet. You know it's cold when the wind's coming from the northwest. It's hitting me here. I have to take my leg and, <laughs> and drive like this. Because my foot and knee were getting too cold. I shouldn't wear these pants. But we'll get some stuff out of the skidoo. I guess we'll have to stay busy here today. We have something to do. It's always something to do. Don't have too much wood to split. I'm trying to get small ones because I want to be quick in the morning. And that's two hours to get two boggins across the trip there and trip back, obviously. Only about an hour to fill these boggins up. And that's because I was cutting, like I said, cutting all the trees that are down. I'm trying to clean the site up a bit. I have to, uh, I think I'm going to stick to one boggin and if I decide to take a day off here and there or stay at camp then I'll get two. But I'd like to get a boggin uh, every morning. By the time I'm done splitting it and getting it in the shed, if it's a big tree, well it could be like you know, 11 o'clock. Be nice if I can get out of here for 10 at the latest. So we'll see. hang outside in the porch. And we'll get another hanger going tonight. Let's put all I can get on there. Okay. Looking good. Well this is way better without that flesher here. All I had was a small space there to work with. Awesome this phone was. I never even tried video out here for you guys. Look at that. Northern lights. Never mind pictures. Pretty 
awesome. But it is brutal out here. Still, it's been brutal all day. And it's time for bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Something was in my 120 and my 330. Fox and an otter hanging around here. So whatever was in here, ripped the screen off my 120 and took the bait. So I'll have to take that home and repair it. I'll leave the trap hanging there. I took the trap out. So let's go back to 330. You know what? I have a box in here. I'll switch it out. That's what I'll do. I'll switch out the boxes. And then we'll go and see what was playing around that 330. I just see fox tracks coming here. Otters over there. Here they come here. Okay. Let's fill this box back up. Reset that. Educated now. So let's hope he's not running my whole line. Well, we got the bait thief. Nice looking white. I'll get him out of there and we'll take a peek at him. But he looks like a good one. Yeah, that's a nice looking one. Pure white. That's what I'm looking for. Carry on. Well, we made it to the tent frame. No Martin. I didn't expect too many though. Or any. We just seen that one set of tracks. Maybe they're just starting to move again. It's been pretty bitter cold. So I dropped some 330s here. And I put the other two in the sled now. I didn't want them pounding in the front there all the way here. So now they're in there and we're going through the bush trail. And I was following a fox coming in here. I just went ahead to see if he was there. It looked like it anyway. So to see if he was following the trail, so if he jumped off. Hard to see that. I don't think I see that. Ah, 
decent sized Martin. Nothing crazy, but at least we finally have one. Holy. Well, something set my trap off. Pretty sure it's a Wolverine. It's reset. He didn't even take the bait. There was a little bit of blood right here. I'm not sure if that was from me cutting the carcass up or if it get him a, it gave him a little bite. The 120 you see behind me here, the Wolverine was in that. And we're at the next trap from that 220 I just showed you. And it looks like, uh, it's hard to say if he went through the bush over there or he's just following my trail. We'll go check in a while. Just trying to warm my hands up for a bit. Oof. That's chilly on the hands. Not trapping you guys. <laughs> okay. That should do her. Oh, my hands wouldn't warm up after the 220 there. Ah, that feels better. Okay. Let's move on. Never know. He stuck his head in the 330 coming up. Well, I just set a 330 here on the trail. And the other 330 I have with me will set on the way out. And we'll put more boxes in the area that Wolverine's hanging out in. Try to get that bugger. I was going to put these at the far end of this trail, but you know what? I'd rather put it in the area that Wolverine is in. Let's get out of here and get to site one and uh, see what it's like over there. I've seen fresh Martin tracks running on my trail and then into the bush over there. So that's a good sign that they're also on the other side, which I knew they would be. But I also caught a Martin here. And I don't think I've ever seen a Martin chew the bottom of a 120 out, but he looks like a nice size. And you can see. And that's why all the new screen is going over the edge now and staple on this side but that's a nice looking mark oh crap yeah that's beauty beauty perfect kill that's where you want them right there bang have so many boxes to check and then we'll make our way back before we check out site one here but if you see what I'm talking about it's high ground that's a big rock right here and that's where my 330 is over there I can't tell if it's set off it doesn't look like it from here it doesn't look like there was any commotion around it but let's get this guy out and uh, continue on a lot of times I'll park my sleigh in a position where it's a nice wind block. I'm just on the edge of a lake, just past the last Martin box, and I threw out the last 330. Why? Because I ran into more Wolverine tracks. That's nice to see two Wolverines hanging around. Let's hope we get them. than that just out of the reach of that trigger. So 330 set is just on the edge of the lake right here. Here's my 120. Well guys, 
welcome to the new out camp site i can't find a site better than this i've been driving around here looking and nothing so here's the open area it's going to go in right here that's facing south right there and i'll give you a 360. got a nice windbreak right here and beat that well so windbreak all around me look at that perfect yep nice view i think we'll face it right there i'm pretty sure or maybe there we'll figure it out yeah that's a nice sight but i'm hungry and thirsty let's get to the tent frame we'll see if we have a little rain on the way back never know see as we're walking here we're getting lower and that's the high ground we were standing on now the 330 right here and just ahead is that 120 where we caught the second martin fox carcass and that so, let's get to the tent well, I've been here about 20 minutes having some pork jerky. Oh, good. I'm glad I carry my cocaine torch with me. I'm going to have uh, a small piece of paper here. Of course, I can go up in the bush and get a bunch of stuff and start the fire, but I want a quick fire. One minute. Just holding it there. The fire is going. I know a lot of people that carry torches like that. Well, I'm going to finish up my tea and get out of here. The traps to check on the way back. And no fur tonight, so we'll figure out something tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe nothing. I'll have to be busy every freaking night. Mm. That's good. I'm going to go start the skidoo. Then we'll start preparations for moving this in the next uh, few weeks, I think. We'll uh, think about that. But I better go start the skidoo. Put this stuff back in there. Certain things I don't like to leave plugged in when I'm going to shut the generator off or when I'm firing it up, I gotta make sure everything's unplugged. Except for the TV and the uh, box, the Shaw box, I don't worry about that. Time to get these traps on, Martin. Yeah. Not pulling 
ready to go tonight, maybe. So today we're going to have a quiet Sunday. We'll let those uh, 330 sit and hopefully there's a Wolverine tomorrow. It's pretty cool out there. Minus 36 this morning. Minus 50 wind chill. We'll let it warm up a bit and I might go get a few loads of wood again. This white flock's turned out real nice. It's a good, good salvage. <laughs> it's pretty beat up. I sewed him across here. His ears are all chewed up. Older fox. Yeah, they turned out really nice. A lot nicer than I thought it would. That's for sure. So we'll hang them up here on the nail. Oh, that's good coffee this morning. Let's check the trap. Filled it right up the other day. minus 15 or something like that. We're going to rip that tent frame down and get it over to the new site. As long as I have two days, I should be able to do it in two days. We'll have to leave the trap and slate here and bring both boggins with us. And somehow we'll have to get that plywood through the trails. Well, that's my only concern. I don't think the, it's pretty tight in there right now. I haven't worked on the trail from the river to the first lake. The other ones are not too bad except for the last one to the bush line. From the lake to the, to the main bush line. So we'll have to figure something out where maybe we stand the plywood up. Maybe even that small boggin out there. I mean, the small uh, cometic. So we can just stand it up like that and uh, screw it together, maybe at the top, and then strap it. And just take your time going through the bush and getting it to getting it to the site. So I'll think of something. Covered here, but not too bad. up for tomorrow. Let's hope it's a nice day. Oh, 
got seven 330 boxes left. And after that, the rest are 160s. I have the boxes to make this summer. Just put them all together here. I think I'll make another 75 Martin boxes. Our numbers will increase every year, I think. I don't know what's going on this year. Bait or a lot of ice around. Hardly any snow, right? Oh well. See next year, I guess. Okay, time to do dishes, have some tea, enjoy a nice fire, and we'll just see you guys in the morning.